Hi, I hope you're having a great day today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple ring with a slight 3D effect, as you can notice over here. And to tell you the secret, this can be done by simply using gradients. It's nothing complicated at all. So let's get started. I'm first going to create a circle and I'll press control so that it's actually a circle and let me give it a nice little color uh, a nice little stroke actually so I want to give it a stroke so I'll press shift and give it a stroke color and I get a stroke is this the same color anyways doesn't matter alright and let me take out the fill remove the fill so a thick stroke with no fill so that gives me the first part of the circle now let's duplicate it using control D and give it a color of a red let's pick this guy sorry a stroke of red too dark right <laughs> now I'm gonna double click on this so that the circle tool is active then I select this handle here and simply drag around along the circumference or you can you don't have to drag along the circumference once I've dragged enough I have this nice little arc shape two arc shapes actually I select them together click on them again and then I'll press control and rotate so that I have some sort of control on what's being rotated and I think I'll leave the control key and adjust now that's good the next step is to create this inner shadow right is in a 3d like effect that's pretty simple too select the green circle control D to duplicate I'm gonna drag it outside and then I'll copy the stroke color apl uh, apply the stroke color to the to the fill so paste the color and I have a nice little fill let me now take out the stroke and let me see how big the circle is it's is it big enough to cover the entire gap kinda let me double click resize it a bit I think this seems fine okay so now I have a big enough circle to cover up the gap in the ring let's let me duplicate the circle give it a color of maybe a dark one and double click make it smaller so now I have this tiny ring right I don't want the ring to be too thick so I'm gonna take it okay so now I have this tiny ring I'm gonna select these together path difference and I have my ring ready now I'm gonna select this guy I'm gonna apply a gradient and notice how I could apply a gradient even to a path so after doing a difference it actually turned into a path so I'm gonna select this end give it a color of let's say red I'm gonna select this end gonna give it a color of of green <coughs> and this should be it I guess yep I can adjust it a bit so that there are more greens there's a little more green alright sounds good okay now let's take this guy and drag him over here drag him so that it seems as if it's part of the ring itself and you pretty much have a circle with a 3d effect and if you want to change the gradient you just double click you know and move the gradient uh, tool handles and you'll be able to change the gradient even while it is part of this ring so that's a pretty neat way to adjust your gradients depending upon how much of your circle is red or green or whatever color it is I guess that's it so thanks for watching